The Spurs also dealing with injuries. They're expecting to be without Kawhi Leonard for their opener on Wednesday. Monday, contract news out of San Antonio. Not too long after admitting to being frustrated last season, LaMarcus Aldridge has reportedly agreed to a contract extension that will keep the four-time All-Star in a Spurs uniform throughout the 2020-21 season. Now, coming off of the season where Aldridge took a ton of criticism for his playoff numbers, Aldridge could have opted out af after this upcoming season, becoming a free agent. Now the 32-year-old will be under contract for the this year, plus three more after that. Brent, you had an opportunity to call a, a Spurs game on TNT in the preseason a couple of days ago, and, and, and this is um, a, a Spurs team who's also trying to find their identity, mm -hmm. oddly enough, because of the Kawhi Leonard injury. But it seems like now, even before this contract news, the Spurs are, are going through him. Do you think that they're, they're trying to make him happier there? Well, I, I think, yes, there, there has been... A, the Spurs coming towards LaMarcus Aldridge uh, with the news of LaMarcus coming out saying that he talked to Greg Popovich in the offseason, had a, a good meeting of the minds. LaMarcus expressed to Pop some of the things that maybe he, he felt like he could be better in terms of how he was used offensively and where he could be more comfortable on the floor. And Pop came out and said, you know, he's right. He legitimately, uh, LaMarcus told me some things that we need to consider, and as a coach, I want to do that and provide him that. They've done that all this preseason, Isaiah. They have gone to him in the post. He played 36 minutes in their last game against the Rockets, was phenomenal in that game. We had a chance to do that that last Thursday. Uh, the fact of the matter is, for the first month of the season, they're going to be relying a lot if Kawhi Leonard is, in fact, out for seven or eight games. Who knows potentially when he comes back. LaMarcus will be the focal point. And now with a contract under his belt, Jared, maybe psychologically that there's even more freedom uh, for him to just settle into his role. Those stats we just showed, LaMarcus is remarkable. 17 points and 7 rebounds. He's playing four less minutes. He shot a better field goal percentage. And the Spurs don't play through him. So it's, it's interesting all the chatter outside of what happens uh, in the locker room with San Antonio with the team that won 61 games last year. Uh, but LaMarcus is primed and ready, and it feels like they have plowed the path and made it clear and wide open for him to have a successful season. Yeah, and, and I think that, you know, last year we saw in the playoffs where, you know, when they wanted him to step up, when they needed him to step up and be that guy, he just wasn't ready. You know, he had been that in Portland, but because in San Antonio they, they really didn't feature him, I think now there's an understanding that, okay, I'm the guy, we're going to play through you, you're going to get touches on the post. And post players, they need rhythm, they need touches. You just can't, you can't come to a post guy and give it to him every one out of seven times down the floor. You got to put that ball inside and let that guy touch it, let him get his rhythm. And once Aldridge gets his rhythm, we know that he's unstoppable in the post.